Ah, uh, so. <laughs> he doesn't know how to act. But I man, oh, baby, you've been doing a lot of this at night, you know. What have I been doing? Every night I'm feeling like, oh my god, this man is going to labor. But yet you don't wake up. You just I say, wake up. You just say, <laughs> baby, bele. you're just tapping the bed because I've got up. There goes my baby. <laughs> I don't know why Okoye Me is doing. <laughs> I've told her to come here and relax. You know, let's just chill. But you're doing. I'm doing too much, I think. You're doing too much. Are you nervous? I think I am nervous. I think I am. So you're just trying to keep busy? Yeah. I'm a bit nervous because I'm sure I already cleaned that table. Yes, and that's why I just looked at the thing like there's nothing on there. But I just want tomorrow to come and it be next tomorrow, and I'm just got my baby in my arms. <sighs> wow, let's see. We, I don't think we've seen the bump. Oh. You've not seen the bump, yeah. Well, the bump that I always makes fun of. How do I make fun of this you bump is actually like big? I feel like this is your biggest bump. I think so as well. Like I can't even stand straight. Of the three kids. And shut. Yeah, it's the biggest. I mean, is it twins? Uh, is it twins be that a we nice don't know? Surprise. That'll actually be a nice surprise. Can you handle twins? Mm -hmm. You know, where me is secretly praying for. She's secretly praying for twins. That would be good. That would actually be good. Anyway. Be so this is the night before the big arrival of Baby Davis. Baby Davis times three. Mm-hmm. Or four. Baby Davis. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're just relaxing here. And um... I also said to me, I was like, he was like, I'm not ready. I said it's a bit late for that. So like, I don't think I'm ready either. Like I think no, we're we're both we're both not ready. We're both not honest. ready. We've not. Um, I don't things think are not been, set. I don't think we've ever been ready. I don't think no one is ever ready after their first child. I feel like we're still ready for Maya. I don't think we were. Mm. I don't think we were. As in ready, as in prepared. Prepared, like everything set. set. You know. Obviously, Maya's one was a bit of a. We're very busy as well because we're moving house. Exactly. We're about to move house. We're about to move Cause house. Because I literally picked up the keys to the house. Oh, yeah. On the day Maya was born, isn't it? Yeah. So that was like double celebration for that us. Was celebration. Who knows? Maybe I'm going to pick up another key. For real. That's why I actually like having babies because I believe that my children, Sha, they've brought some kind they bring of. They favor, isn't it? They really do. Something big always happens when they're born. Yeah. Mickey, we moved into our first house. Yeah. Maya, we moved into our second house. Mm -hmm. So, uh, maybe mansion loading. Was she? Mansion Dream house loading. loading. Dream house loading. God is able. So, yeah. We've done our, well, Aya did his. Done my COVID test. Negative. Okay. We thank God. Um, Yesterday, I went to the hospital. Guys. I went to the hospital yesterday. They said, oh, can you... No, they told me that I have to come in a few days before to do a COVID test and a blood test. So as I went in, I had to drop me because obviously um, they're not letting people in unless you have to be there. I went in now, went down the birth birth suite, the birth centre. It was giving me anxiety. All I could hear was... <gasps> <laughs> I said, oh my God, oh my God. Like all the memories of labour just came back to me. So I don't know if you guys know, but when I had Mickey, I actually was in labour. Until mm. I had to have that emergency section. All those feelings just came rushing back. Even the midwife, she was like, you're right, love. I was like, yeah. She was like, are you sure? I was like, I'm just a bit anxious. She's like, oh, bless you. Bless you, darling. Let's get this done and get out of here. I was like, oh, sorry. 
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. You would think that after, you know, having two children already, I would have calmed down. But, man, that hospital is, it, yeah, it, it yeah, made me anxious. It, it made, me, it made me anxious. Like going into the hospital. At that point, I literally thought to myself, I said, I said to the lady, I don't, I don't want to go into labor. I just want my C-section and get out of here. But even me, I know that it's never C-section and get out of here because I was telling Ayo that even after, mm. what's making me anxious is all those injections after the yeah. C-section and the wound and not being able to move and just being mm. in a lot of pain. Like, pff, guys, keep me prayed up. Keep us prayed up. Keep okay. us prayed up. Everything all packed. Up when me did her, what's it called? What's in my baby bag? I want to go and do my own. <laughs> because if she has baby bag and you too, you have to have baby bag. I'm staying with her. So apparently I am her birth partner. So um me too I have baby bag. Okay. Yeah. So let me go and pack my baby bag tonight. Um I don't know if I'm gonna pack anything but... Guys, but for real, if I was my true birth partner, can you guys weigh this can you guys just weigh this scenario that we have now? So today the hospital called me, they said stop eating from ten o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, you're laughing because you know. So said, stop eating from 10 o'clock. Nothing in your mouth, 10 o'clock, until after the baby's born. You can have a little bit of water. Why at 10 past 10 did I see Ayo going to get ice cream? I said, stop. We're <laughs> supposed to stop eating from 10 o'clock. He said, no be you. <laughs> he said, he said, no be you. No be, no be me. I was like, baby, we're supposed to do this together. He said no, and the thing is, I actually remember. I actually remember. T- <laughs> I actually remember when it was Maya. They told me the same thing. Why, when it was about when I was in the hospital, like it was already like maybe ten o'clock in the morning. Ten o'clock. I didn't eat. Ten in the morning. I okay. He said, oh, I think I'm gonna go and get a full English downstairs. <laughs> he went. He went. He left me there. I went for like an hour. He went no, for like no, an hour. No network. <laughs> <laughs> he went to go get a full English, as in. Uh, mushrooms, eggs, I have bacon, to eat. I have beef. to eat for two now. Oh, God. I said, so if you're my true birthing partner, you're not supposed to eat, isn't it, guys? Okay, don't worry. Tomorrow I'll fast. Good. Okay. Thank you. Tomorrow I'll fast. Thank so, you. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, I just had... I don't know why she went to buy Ben and Joyce. I've not even had any ice cream for the past, like, six months No, or so, you've tried. I've been good, isn't it? So maybe me too, I was just feeling a bit nervous. You're feeling nervous take, as well. I need to go and take ice cream. Okay. So, um, yeah, tomorrow we'll bring you guys along. Um, as you said, keep us prayed up. Um, it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a blessed day. Can't wait to see our bundle of joy. Um, it's been two. nine months. It's, it's, even over, it's been nine months feeling like 12 months, mm, isn't it? It's actually felt like 12 months. It actually felt like 12 months. It felt like a long time. It was longer than nine. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, I'm still going to try and do some. So what I'm going to do tomorrow, obviously, we'll let you know. But what I'm going to do tomorrow is, uh, obviously, I'm going to be with you. But at some point, I'm going to come back home. Mm. I feel like I need to set some things right. Seeing as oh my God. you're not going to come. What? It is. What? Is it? Is a Maserati outside? No, seriously, baby, you didn't have to. You actually didn't have to. Baby. No, baby, <laughs> seriously. Seriously. Uh, oh, this unnecessary pressure. Um, she said I should get her a birthing gift. Um, what do you call it? A push gift. A push gift. So it can be a Maserati, Porsche. I've actually never bought her a push gift. Am I a bad husband? No, but you bought other gifts. You bought birthday gifts. I don't even know. Standard, no, uh, uh, no, but you bought a car for birthday now. Yeah, but so, I'm not. But you pushed you two children for me. I'm not going to push. Uh, maybe I should buy. Maybe I should buy you gifts. Exactly. It's true. Let's change. Let's change the standards, change guys. The narrative. Let's bro. change the narrative. Let's buy because they always for women. They always buy them stuff. Exactly. So maybe I'll get you a so bunch of flowers. Me stuff, you know? I'll get you a bunch of flowers. Excuse me. Can you offer fish flower, she? Smell it. <laughs> you don't wear me. <laughs> Let me not say what happened to the flowers that I gave her the last stop, time. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this was just a quick vlog, okay? Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know how to act. 
But I man, okay, be, you've been doing a lot of this at night, you know. <laughs> what have I been doing? Every night I'm feeling like, oh my god, this man is going to labor. But yet you don't wake up. You just I say, wake up. You just say, <laughs> baby. Bele, you're just tapping the bed because I've gone up. I just look behind. I say, is this man okay? Every five minutes she'll get up. She'll say, yeah. And me, I'm a very light sleeper. So yeah. I'll actually fully wake up. You know. No, because I've been having, um, I think it's SPD. So pelvic, like, mm. pelvic, yeah. But thank God by tomorrow, mama, bolo, everything. Praise God. Get back to my normal body. Just be mm. looking after my baby. Oh, God. Praise God. Praise God. Oh. Okay, so yeah, I think we're just gonna end this vlog here. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. See by you God's tomorrow. Grace, okay, you take care. God bless. Bye. Bye.